How's it going, guys? So, uh, doing a kind of a interesting video today. I'm actually talking about finishing my first year of college. So, I just finished my freshman year today. Um, moving out of the dorms, as you can see here. Let's flip my computer up. It's like a huge mess in my room right now because I'm leaving in like an hour, but. Basically, um, I'm just going to give my thoughts on what I thought of engineering school. Maybe I'll... On what I thought of engineering school. So, I go to CU. Um, I'm an electrical engineering major. And um, what did I think? Well, maybe for those of you who are thinking about going in into engineering, you might be thinking about the, you know, what was that? Might be thinking about watching this video. Um... <laughs> It was exactly what I expected, and it was not what I expected at all. Uh, basically, you know, I expected it to be hard, but holy, wow, it turned out to be, you know, really, you know, people made no exaggeration when they said engineering school is hard. It's hard. It was the hardest year of my life, but at the same time, it was so rewarding. Getting, you know, those good grades on a test or on a project or on whatever just makes up for how hard it is. And uh, I actually, one thing that's what I really noticed is I, like, in high school, I finished with a 4.0, um, you know, came out with 15 hours of AP credit. <sighs> I didn't really feel accomplished. It was pretty easy. I mean, I just coasted through. And... I can say that I definitely felt a sense of accomplishment uh, today after finishing my physics exam. And, uh, you know, I was in this semester. Well, I'll actually talk about my schedule last semester. Last semester, I took uh, general chemistry one and two for engineers. So it's chemistry one and two in a semester. And that class was pretty hard. But um, luckily, I was already knew, like, a good amount of chemistry. I took an engineering projects class, which was pretty fun, kind of just built and designed something, went through the design process, that sort of thing. And then I was in Calculus 2, and I did AP Calc 1 in high school, and I mean, basically got a 5 on the AP test and finished with 101% in the class, and I was not ready for Calc 2 at all. Like, the first week of class, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, this is so much harder than I thought it would be. And so that was an interesting thing. And then I was in geology, and that was kind of a fun class. I knew some of it from high school also. But then this semester, I took Physics 1, and, you know, I did AP Physics in high school, so it wasn't it wasn't terribly hard. I mean, I'll say Physics in college was definitely harder than Physics in high school, but for different reasons. I mean, it's not that Physics in high school wasn't hard. I don't know. It was just a, kind of a different hard. And then I took Calculus 3, and that class was brutal. That class, I can honestly say, at CU, it might be different in other schools, but I can honestly say that at CU, that was the hardest class I've ever taken in my life. And so, you know, last semester I finished with a 3.95, so all A's and an A-. minus. Uh, this semester, I'm really okay with getting a lower GPA just because um, that was Calc 3 was so hard. You know, it was horrible, but... So I was in Calc 3, Physics, I was in an Intro to Philosophy course, and then I was in a programming class, just uh, C programming and MATLAB programming for engineers. And I thought the programming class was the easiest of my classes, but that was just because I've had prior programming experience. And so, you know, well, as you guys know, that's kind of what my channel is based on. But, so yeah, um, you know, just to cap it off, what did I think about school? Well, school was definitely hard, but at the same time, that's exactly what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be hard. And if you're going to do engineering, just know it's going to be hard. Like like I said, I coasted through high school, got a 4.0, thought it was really easy, took, you know, comparable maybe courses in college for engineering, and it was brutal. But at the same time, you'll get used to the difference. And, you know, you'll do well. If you're motivated and you have a good study habit and work ethic, you'll be fine. And so... What else? Um, definitely really rewarding. I felt like I got more out of this year maybe than people who kind of just messed around and went in with like an open, well, <laughs> I 
at CU, it's called arts and sciences, but we call them arts and crafts majors because we're just kind of cynical engineers. But definitely thought uh, I maybe got more out of it than just partying and drinking and, you know, smoking weed and that sort of thing. And so, you know, not to say I'm totally against that, like, have a good time, do whatever you want. But I think I had a better time enjoying the higher pleasures. I don't know if you guys know difference of higher pleasures, lower pleasures, but I thought I enjoyed higher pleasures. So yeah, that was good. Uh, living in the dorms, exactly what you expect. Uh, sucks sharing a bathroom with sloppy people. People in my hall were just wild and out of control all the time, but whatever. Um, buy noise canceling earphones or some earplugs or some shit because Oh, geez, people are going to be loud. But it wasn't bad. I mean, like I said, I had a good time. I liked it. Um, there were times, you know, I'll just give you the warning in advance. If you're doing engineering, there are going to be times you want to quit. <laughs> there were times I wanted to quit, and I've known I wanted to be an engineer my whole life. But don't quit. That's the key. You just got to stay here, stay with it, and keep going. So ask me any questions in the comments that you guys have, um, questions about schools, questions about degrees, majors, stuff like that, and I'll let you know. Uh, I'll try to respond to all of them. So that's, uh, that's what I thought about engineering school. Talk to you guys later. Peace.